Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is the continuation of op palms. So in the previous classes we have discussed about op palms, then open loop configurations of op palm. Next is closed loop configurations of op palm. So an op palm that uses feedback is called a closed loop amplifier. And if the signal fed back is out of phase by 180 degree with respect to the input, then it is called negative feedback. And if the signal fed back is in phase with respect to the input, then it is called positive feedback. So, an op amp that uses feedback is called closed loop amplifier. And there are three main configurations of op pump so the configurations of op pump are inverting amplifier inverting amplifier then non inverting amplifier then differential amplifier So these three are the three main closed loop configurations of op amp. Now let us discuss about these three configurations in detail. Let us study about inverting amplifier. So this is the diagram for the inverting amplifier and assume ideal op amp. So, in the case of ideal op amp, VID, that is reference input voltage is 0. So, when VID is equal to 0 means V1 is equal to V2. But here, V1 is 0. So, V1 here equal to 0. And in the case of ideal op amp, if V1 is equal to 0, then V2 also equal to 0. That is, let this be node A. That is, in this case, the node A is at ground potential. So, node A is at ground potential. Then, here, so... In the case of ideal op amp VID, that is difference input voltage is equal to 0. That means V1 and V2 are equal. Then here V1 is equal to 0. So V2 will be equal to 0 in the case of ideal op amp. And here if V2 is equal to 0 means the node A is at a ground potential. Here the inverting input act as virtual ground. So, inverting input act as virtual ground. So, what is virtual ground? Virtual ground signifies a point whose voltage with respect to ground is zero. And yet, no current can flow into the Point. So, here the inverting input act as a virtual ground. That means, here the voltage with respect to ground is 0. So, here V2 is equal to 0 and no current can flow into the, into that point. So, let us write the nodal equations at a Nodal A, that is nodal equations at node A. Then what will be the nodal equations here? So here the voltage is the voltage at it, the point A is zero because A is at a ground potential, that is zero voltage. So, we can write 0, then 
minus V0 divided by the resistance. That is R. R is the feedback resistance and R1 is the input resistance. Then plus here 0 then minus V in. 0 minus V in divided by the input resistance R1 equal to 0. So here after rearranging we will get V0 divided by minus V0 divided by R of is equal to V in divided by R1. That is V0 is equal to minus V in divided by R1 into Rf. Or we can write minus V in into Rf divided by R1 is the output voltage. And here let Af is equal to Rf divided minus Rf divided by R1. And that is equal to V0 divided by V in. It is called the closed loop voltage gain. So here we get the output voltage V0 is equal to minus V in into Rf divided by R1. Where Rf divided by R1 is called the closed loop voltage gain. And which is equal to a which is denoted by AF that is minus RF divided by R1 and that is equal to V0 divided by V. Now let us draw the output waveforms. So let this be the input waveform that is V in. Then what will be the output waveform? So here this is inverting amplifier. So inverting amplifier means there will be 180 degree out of phase and also a voltage gain. V0 is equal to minus V in into Rf divided by R1. That is AF times V in is the output waveform. And also phase shifted by 180 degree. So we can draw the output waveform like this. That is it is amplified and 180 degree out of phase with the input. So this is the output waveform. So this is about the inverting amplifier. Next is non-inverting amplifier. So this is the circuit diagram for the non-inverting amplifier. So non-inverting amplifier means here the input is given to the non-inverting input terminal. That is to the positive input. So here V1 is the positive input that is the non-inverting input. Then R1 and Rf are the feedback voltage divider circuit. So R1 and Rf forms the feedback divider circuit. Then here also consider the ideal op-pump case. So for the ideal op-pump VID that is the difference input voltage is equal to 0 that means V1 is equal to V2. But here V1 that is V1 is given as V in because we give the input voltage to the non-inverting terminal. So V1 is equal to V in. So what will be V2? V2 should be also equal to V in to make VID is equal to 0. In the case of ideal op amp. Then what will be the voltage at this point? Let this point be node A. So at node A then what will be the voltage? So V2 is the voltage at node A. And which is equal to V in. So, at node A, voltage is equal to V in. Now, we can write the nodal equations. That is, write the nodal equations at node A. Then, 
then what will be the nodal equation so with respect to this point we can write v in divided by r1 that is v in divided by r1 plus v in minus v0 divided by rf then equal to 0 so this is the nodal equation at a node a now we can rearrange this equation that is v in into 1 divided by r1 plus 1 by rf so here 1 divided by rf then minus v0 divided by rf is equal to 0 again we can rearrange this one that is v in into taking the rcm we will get r1 plus rf divided by r1 rf then which is equal to this v0 divided by rf that is v0 is equal to v in into here this rf rf we can cancel then we will get v in into r1 plus rf divided by r1 so this is the output voltage v0 is equal to v in into r1 plus rf divided by r1 or we can write so this one we can again write v0 divided by v in is equal to 1 plus rf divided by r1 which is called the closed loop gain that is af in the case of non-inverting amplifier So now let us draw the input and the output waveforms. So let V in be the input waveform. Then what will be the output waveform? So V0 is equal to AF times V in and which is in phase with the input waveform. So output waveform is in phase and amplified by a factor AF. So this is the input and the output waveforms of in the case of non-inverting amplifier. Next is voltage fallover. So what is voltage fallover? So in the non-inverting amplifier, if RF is equal to 0, that is in non-inverting amplifier, if RF is equal to 0 and R1 is equal to infinity then the diagram we can redraw like this that is it will be so in the Non-inverting amplifier, if R1 is equal to infinity and Rf is equal to 0, then we can redraw this diagram like this. That is, here Rf is equal to 0 and R1 is equal to infinity. That is, 0 divided by infinity is equal to 0. So, we will get V0 is equal to V in. That is, the output voltage is equal to the input voltage both in magnitude and phase. In other words, the output voltage follows the input voltage exactly. Hence, this circuit is called voltage fallover. So, its output and input waveforms will be like this. So, this is input and output waveform will be equal and in phase. So, this is input and output waveforms. So, voltage fallover is the output voltage follows the input voltage both in magnitude and phase. That is called a voltage fallover.
Next is differential amplifier. So this is the diagram for the differential amplifier. So considering the ideal op amp. So for the ideal op amp, V I D is equal to zero. That means V one is equal to V two. And here let A and B be the two nodes. And for the ideal op amp, V one and V two are equal. So for that. The nodes A and B are at the same potential, and let that voltage be V three. So, for the ideal op amp, V I D is equal to zero. That is, V one is equal to V two. That means the nodes A and B are at the same potential. That is, nodes. A and B at voltage V three. Then now we can write the nodal equations at A and B. So at node A, the nodal equations be like. So this is V three. So V three minus V two. V three minus V two divided by R one plus V three minus V zero divided by R two equal to zero. Then at node B, so at node B, what will be the nodal equation? So this is V three. So V three minus V one. V three minus V one divided by R one. Then plus V three divided by R two. Equal to zero. Now we can rearrange these equations. So after rearranging, we will get one by R one plus one by R two into V three. Then minus V two divided by R one equal to V zero divided by R two. Then from this we will get one divided by R one plus one by R two into V three. Then minus V one divided by R one equal to zero. Now We can subtract these two equations. That is, equation one minus two implies we will get one divided by R one. That is, this one get cancelled. Then we can rearrange the remaining. That is, one by R one into V one minus V two is equal to V zero divided by R two. That is, V zero output voltage V zero is equal to R two divided by R one into V one minus V two, and here what is the gain? Gain is A F is equal to R two divided by R one. So this is the output voltage in the case of differential amplifier. That is V zero is equal to R two divided by R one into V one minus V two, where A F is equal to this R two divided by R one. So that is about the closed loop configurations of op amps. So hope you all understand about this closed loop configurations. So thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share, and subscribe my channel.